Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about pyrimidine-based production. First, glutamine is used as a source of an amine. Glutamine combines with the CO2 and two ATPs as an energy source to produce carbamoyl phosphate. In this process, glutamine is converted into glutamate, where it has lost an amine. This reaction is catalyzed by carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 2, or CPS2 for short, which takes place in the cytosol. Aspartate is then added to carbamoyl phosphate to produce orotic acid. Ribose 5-phosphate from the pentose phosphate pathway is converted into PRPP in which it adds to orotic acid to produce UMP by the ever so cleverly named UMP synthase. And this is where we see our first pyrimidine made, uracil. UMP is uridine monophosphate for short. A phosphate can be added to UMP to become UDP or uridine diphosphate, and from here can go on to become either CTP, cytosine triphosphate, which synthesizes our second pyrimidine, cytosine, or DUDP, deoxyuridine diphosphate, by the enzyme ribonucleotide reductase. DUDP can be dephosphorylated into DUMP and then converted into DTMP or deoxythymidine monophosphate by thymidylate synthase, which synthesizes our third and final pyrimidine thymine. When this reaction happens, a dihydrofolate or DHF is produced, which gets converted to tetrahydrofolate by dihydrofolate reductase. THF can be converted into N5 and 10 methylene THF where it can react once again with DUMP. These last few reactions happen in a cycle where DUMP keeps getting converted into DTMP by the addition of N5 and 10 methylene THF and kicking off a DHF where DHF converts back into THF and then N5 and 10 methylene THF. An important thing to remember is that carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 2 from the first step of pyrimidine synthase, also known as CPS2, happens in the site 2 zol did you hear that? Where its cousin CPS1 catalyzes its reaction in the mitochondria. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.